so nervous. <sighs> welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a get to know me tag i thought it might also be fun to incorporate an ethnicity tag so a zim tag because i'm zimbabwean if you're zimbabwean as well be sure to leave the zimbabwean flag down below so i know who you are one of my subscribers actually commented on one of my videos shout out to you girl asking me to do a get to know me video because she wanted to get to know me better i had been avoiding doing a get to know me tag because i just thought that as a small youtuber like no one actually cares about me <laughs> uh, i think it's time for me to let you guys in a bit for you guys to understand me a bit better understand my mind frame where i've been where i've come from my journey and all all of that so grab yourself a snack a hot drink because we're about to get real real cozy so i'll ask you guys over my instagram to ask me anything you wanted to know about me and you guys went in i've written all your questions down here because i'm actually filming with my phone today i'm going to start off with like the basic get to know me tag questions so my name is Lorraine. i am an only child and yes only child syndrome is a thing <laughs> i wouldn't say i'm spoiled i would say that sometimes i'm slightly entitled I live by myself I am a homeowner I might actually do a video on how I bought my house by myself in my 20s so if you guys want to see that video let me know in the comment section down below I am 30 oh my, oh my yeah life comes at you so so fast <laughs> i actually turned 30 this year in march i celebrated my birthday in budapest i was flew out honey i was flew out i did actually vlog the trip so i will link in the vlogs somewhere up in the cards or in the description box if you guys want to check that out it was amazing um i'm five five or five six I don't know how much I weigh and I don't want to know because I don't want that kind of negativity in my life. <laughs> but but what I do know is that your girl's curvy, thick, all of that, all of that. <laughs> oh, another question that I actually get asked a lot is about my measurements. My waist is 29 or 30 inches. I wish it was 24, girl, but now we move. And my hips are 49 or 50 inches. I am Zimbabwean. Zimbabwe is an African country, Southern Africa to be specific. And that would explain my shape because a lot of women from Southern Africa, whether it be South Africa, Zambia are quite curvaceous and thick. I live in the UK, but I was not born in the UK. I was actually born in Zimbabwe. I came to the UK when I was 10 years old and you know what all I have to say is kids can be so mean literally like imagine coming from a different country well Africa into like the first world country like the UK you've got a different accent obviously a different life experience like I actually got bullied when I was in school which was not a nice experience my college and uni experience were literally one of the best times of my life because that's when I started to be around more people of color and guys started to be interested in me because in school like that was not happening not only was i being bullied but girls that look like me were not deemed as attractive that's just the times that we were in at that time okay, so moving on to the zim tag i have written down some questions here so the first question is what part do you originate from and what ethnic group i'm from the Ndebele tribe <laughs> No, I can't speak in Dabele. That explains my shape because in Zimbabwe, a lot of women or girls from the Ndebele tribe tend to be more curvaceous. So yeah. So the next question is, can you speak any of your native languages? Yes, I can speak Shona fluently. Ndinotawara Shona. Shakanaka. Yeah, I can speak Shona fluently. Of course, I wasn't born here. So I love that. I love the fact that I am bilingual because living in a westernized country and being part of the 
diaspora community can be slightly confusing sometimes. So knowing that, knowing that I've got my language and that's something I can hold on to in terms of my, of my culture is something that I'm really, really proud of. <sighs> Sorry, someone called me. So the next question is, who's your favorite Zim artist? You guys, I'm obsessed with Takura, like. If you wanna love me, then love me. Don't stop it. I'm gonna if you guys don't know who that is, you need to look him up immediately. If you like R&B, soul music, that kind of vibe, you will absolutely love him. I love the fact that he also incorporates Shona into his lyrics. And I appreciate that. I need to see this man perform. Like I need to go to one of his shows. You guys know when Takura's coming to the UK put me on and tell him that i'm obsessed with him okay um the next question is when's the last time you were in zim so like i said i came to the uk when i was 10 years old and that's the last time i've been to zimbabwe <laughs> like i'm so embarrassed even saying that i haven't been back to zimbabwe since i came and i know that's really really terrible majority of my family is in the uk so there hasn't been much motivation for me to go but i know i know i know it's not good um the next question is what is your favorite zim food mm. obviously our staple dish is sadza <laughs> and this is this is the equivalent to like pounded jam it's made out of maize meal i love to have it with what we call road runner and this is like the hard chicken i'm not sure what it's called in other countries or anywhere else but sadza with the road runner and the green veg like green veg mixed with the road runner Mwah! it's a oh, chef's kiss oh oh i also love lacto guys like if you're zimbabwe you know what lacto is lacto is basically like milk yeah it's like milk a thick yogurt and i put sugar and i have that with sadza like i remember when i was younger that's one thing that i would absolutely love everyone would know that lorraine is obsessed with lacto so yeah can you teach us something in your language this is a tricky one Oh, I know. One of the things that I like to call my friend is Monoe Pasi, and that basically means my day one, like my rider, my G, my dog, basically. So it's Monoe Pasi. The next question is, what is your favorite memory from Zimbabwe? One of my favorite, favorite memories is when I was younger and I would go to parties like baby showers or birthday parties. And what they would make the kids do is basically like dance, like, and I would go in, you guys, like it was, I was not playing any games. Like this was business, like. <laughs> about to be on and popping i'm about to win that dance of guess what there was a price like people would be throwing money or you'd be giving money at the end of it so do you think i was playing any games there was money involved let's go gosh i hope this video is not gonna be too long okay now moving on to the q a of the questions that you guys asked me on instagram someone said what job do you do besides instagram there's certain things i don't feel comfortable sharing on the internet so my job my family did you grow up in zimbabwe Way. I've already answered that question. Are you Zimbabwean? Done, no. I've already answered that question. How do you stay looking good? Thank you, sissy. I don't even, I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> I like to look expensive. That's my thing. But I like to look expensive on a budget. Check out that video as well. It took me quite a long time to kind of find myself, to grow into my style, to know what I like, to know to know what looks good on me. It just depends on you as a person. You have to find out what works for you, what what style you like, what colour palette you like, and what body what things look good on your body shape so yeah the next question is are you still with your boyfriend this question actually made me laugh so much you guys are so observant and nosy af but it's calm because i'm nosy too like the longer i stayed on social media the more i realized that the internet is such a crazy place like 
people will be leaving the most ridiculous comments on my videos and i don't know there's just certain things that i just want to keep to myself that i do not want to bring on the internet so that's my family my relationship my job i think that certain things should always be private but to answer your question yes i'm still with my boyfriend he's still around but i'm not showing him as much on my social media the next question is what is your favorite luxury brand this is easy the mothership louis vuitton i'm obsessed with louis vuitton i have a whole lot more items from louis vuitton on my luxury wish list i have loads of stuff from louis vuitton which i love this might be controversial but i actually do like canvas so even though majority of their bags products or whatever is canvas i actually kind of like that so i don't mind spending a whole lot of money on it because i think it's really good quality and it fits into my style so yeah how many children do you want if any i do want children um i i'm definitely gonna have more than one child because i'm an only child i think having two kids will allow me to like focus on them give them everything in terms of financially emotionally mentally so yeah two ideally but i can stretch to three if i need to if you could change one thing about your past what would it be good one i try not to have any regrets because everything that's happened in my life good or bad has made me who i am has got me to where i am in life so even though i have regrets i have loads i've made some questionable purchases in the past wasted a lot of money so i've been with a questionable ex and even though i learned a lot from that whole mess of a relationship i do wish that i didn't have to go through all of that but overall, like I said, I wouldn't change anything because everything that happens in your life happens for a reason. What's one thing you learned from your parents? I've learned so much from my parents. The main thing is hard work. One of the things that I always say is you get what you put in. If you don't work for something, if you don't invest in yourself, how do you expect to be successful? What are you most proud of? What am I most proud of? proud of do you know what i'm really really proud of the fact that i'm a homeowner and that i went through this whole process myself it was a grueling process it was a difficult process it was a very expensive process but i did it and do you know what god is so good i will always look back in life and be like i did that i did that what is your favorite color to wear um do you know what i don't know if i actually have a favorite color what i do have is a favorite color palette and that is neutral tones i've spoken about this so many times i like nudes obviously black white grays those kind of colors i do dabble in color but my favorite color palette is definitely neutrals what's your biggest pet peeve my biggest pet peeve is rudeness rudeness slash arrogance you can tell so much about a person if they're arrogant i don't need that kind of negative energy around me i also don't like people that are rude you do unto others as you like them to do unto you manners do not cost a thing we're all human we all deserve to be treated with respect i just don't have time for rude people i just think what why they, there's just no need there's just no need Okay. I'm gonna make two parts of the get to know me tag. So this is the end of the part one of it. If you have any more questions that you wanna know about me specifically, or if you want me to clarify or elaborate on something, be sure to leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure I get back to you. I'm gonna do a part two, which is more specific to creating content, Instagram, and how to grow on Instagram really quickly, because believe it or not, that's my main asked question. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that. If you come all this way, thank you you you're a real one don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it make sure you're having a lovely day night evening wherever you are and i'm gonna see you back here in my next video bye guys